What's going on YouTube? I'm Ivan. Welcome to my channel. I make weekly videos, commentaries, reviews, vlogs, all that kind of good stuff. We're talking HBO, Sex and the City reboot, and just like that. Some and just like that. It's been a while since we talk about and just like that. But some things have happened. And we have some news. We have some news. And just like that, season two has been confirmed. It has been confirmed, guys. I am really excited about this announcement. Season two? What about Che Diaz? For Che stay in LA, how do you guys feel about Che coming back? We are gonna need some answers, and I really feel like this season's gonna be good. I'm gonna tell you why in this video. So recently, and just like that showrunner, Michael Patrick King announced that season two is a go. He announced in a statement that he's excited. He's excited to tell more stories of these characters. And the fact is we're all thrilled. And just like that, our sex life is back. That's what Michael said. That is what Michael said. I am just quoting him. I'm gonna link down some articles down below so you guys can go check them out yourself. We did not know if and just like that was gonna come back for a season two after season one. I mean, season one, we, we had a lot of mixed feelings about season one. Some of us loved it. Some of us didn't really love it. Some of us, like me, were like, what is going on? I'm happy to be back in the Sex and the City universe. But a lot of people were really, you know, heavily divided on the show. You know, had a lot of mixed feelings. Some people felt like the show was really forced and too fake wool. I do feel like some scenes were really, really forced and a little bit of cringe. Some scenes were definitely cringy in season one. They really, really did try to include a lot of different things and elements into the show. Some of it was good, some of it was not so great. Do you feel like we need a season two? I feel like we certainly need a season two, for sure. And I'm gonna tell you why in this video. We still don't have a release date of when it's gonna come out, but some predictions are sometime around early 2023 is when it's gonna be dropping. So we'll see, maybe they're gonna be shooting this summer. Maybe they're gonna be shooting this fall and this winter of 2022. Don't really know yet. I do follow a couple of fan accounts of And Just Like That on Instagram. I'm gonna be tuned to them to see if there's any like updates so that we can like make videos in between until the show comes back. Season one, you know, wasn't my favorite. It's just like Sex and the City, the movie two wasn't my favorite. But we get to go back to Carrie's universe and I really feel like the season's gonna deliver and here is why. I really feel like this new season's gonna deliver because the writers on this show are not gonna have to rewrite anything out. The editors on the show are not gonna have to re-edit the show. Remember guys, allegedly season one was reworked. Any kind of big scene was removed due to the allegations all against Chris. All that stuff was scrapped. I felt like things in certain episodes were incomplete like for example that beeping of the dishwasher we didn't know what it was but you know it was kind of proven at the end when, when Carrie had the issue of the light bulb that she thought Big was trying to communicate with her certain things that didn't really make sense that one scene where Carrie's like talking to herself saying this isn't healthy again I really feel like she was talking to Big in all of those scenes the good news is, is that season two he's already gone out of the universe they're not gonna have to rewrite the show to make sense for us it's a clean slate guys you can't mess this up you cannot mess this up also, let's just get it out of the way that do not expect Samantha. Samantha Jones is not returning to Angels like that. She will not be in this universe. If Samantha Jones ever returns, I feel like it will be back in the Sex and the City universe. But as far as the Angels like that, I'm really sad to report that from everything I've gathered, she's not coming back. She is not interested in coming back. And we have to respect Kim's decisions. That's what she wants. She doesn't want to return. I'm still going to be messing Samantha Jones. It'll be interesting to see if they still continue to incorporate Samantha's story into the show like they did in season one with like text messages of her and Carrie back and forth. You know, it's gonna be interesting. We'll see how they do that, if they do that at all. We don't know yet. But not many details out here at the moment. Uh, this was really exciting just to cover. You know what? We haven't done an and just like that update. Do you guys wanna see a season two? Or what do you feel like season two needs in order for the show to redeem itself? I think that season two is really gonna need to bring back the Carrie monologues that we're also used to from the Sex and the City universe. Now that Carrie has her own podcast, I think this is the perfect opportunity for them to give us those voiceovers and carry monologues that were so, so missing in my opinion with season one of And Just Like That. I feel like if they do that, I think that'll be good. I think we'll appreciate the show a lot, lot more. I'm also really excited to see Carrie and Mr. Producer Guy. I really wanna see how that's gonna unfold, what's gonna unfold from that. I hope that if it doesn't work out with Mr. Producer, she just goes on new dates, but I really do hope that it works out and we get to like, figure out more about that. I feel like Jay definitely needs to come back. Jay Diaz was definitely a big focal point of season one. There were lots of memes of Che. It's legendary at this point. So I definitely want to see more Che. Why not? Let's just do it. But justice for Steve. Justice for Steve. That's not going to change. I'm not changing my stance on that. Miranda's still terrible. Miranda the character is a terrible person. Over her. Justice for Steve. Justice for Steve. I definitely hope they bring back some more sex, some good sex, because the last season, mm, I wasn't into it. I wasn't into it. So it's going to be really interesting to see what returning characters we get. I, I think that the entire cast of season one is definitely going to be returning 
returning. I am really curious to see if they're gonna bring back any old reoccurring characters from the original Sex and the City, since Samantha's not coming back. They're probably gonna be bringing back characters that we fell in love with in the Sex and the City show, and that would be really cool and interesting as well, just to keep everything intertwined and fresh. I'm also really curious to see if they're gonna be mentioning Big, maybe, but they're probably not gonna be mentioning Big at all either. So we'll see if and just like that, season two is the end of that. I'm glad that it's coming back. I am. I think that season one was very controversial. It got us all talking, hey? But that's because we all love the show. We love these characters. We love these actors. So hopefully season two will not disappoint and will redeem itself. I feel like it will. Season one wasn't that bad. Do you guys really feel like it was that bad? Let me know. I'm gonna continue to bring you guys updates on Angels like that, so stay tuned. As always, thank you so much for supporting. I'll check out the description of this video. It's gonna have some links to articles and stuff that I found. Are you gonna be watching season two? Did you watch season one? How'd you feel about season one? Drop a comment. Let me know. I wanna hear it. Let's discuss. Let's discuss. So definitely check me out on Instagram. I try to post daily on there as far as stories go. Leave your Instagram down below. would love to follow you. Until the next scene, until the next vlog, until the next commentary and review. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Subscribe.